Good morning, Quite Copter 101 here. Before we st get started, let's get the shout out out of the way. Today's shout out goes to Big Drone Flyer 77 and Drone Pool. Both were first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus they both win the shout out. So, congratulations. Good morning, Quite Copter 101 here, and I have a review of another neat Quite Copter for you the E016H from Eshin. What is the E016H? Well, it is a beginner's drone. You can see that right away. Now, why am I reviewing Beginner's Drone? Again, my channel is dedicated from the start to helping beginners enter this hobby. And you don't need to spend a lot of money to get into this hobby. You can start, and I always recommend this to my new flyers out there, start with a beginner's toy grade quadcopter to learn the basics with. With that in mind, that's what this is, okay? A beginner's toy grade quadcopter. And the propellers on this are very well protected, and I think the idea is for you to be able to fly this indoors. This is mainly an indoor flyer, although I will flying it, be flying it forward to review outdoors today. But again, it's mainly intended as an indoor flyer, mainly because of these prop guards on here. Um, this is available uh, with altitude hold and one key return. Along with, uh, I believe it has headless mode. Yeah, headless mode, one key return, altitude hold, and automatic takeoff and automatic landing. And to do such with this particular controller, uh, this is your takeoff and land button. You press into it there. If you want to enter a headless mode, you press into it here. And if you want one key return, you hold down this button and it'll do one key return. Now, one key return, as i I got to stress this as always, one key return is not return to home, folks. All it does is this drone will fly the exact opposite direction it was flying when it took off. So if it was pointed in this direction and it took off and you went out flying somewhere and you hit that one key return, it's going to fly backwards in the opposite direction. If you're over here and you hit one key return, it's going to go away from you. So keep that in mind. That's why it's not a true return to home. Other things you get in this package, I bought the, uh, or I got the two battery package. This is available with one, two, or three batteries. So you get a spare battery with the one that I got here. It is a 350 milliamp per hour, 3.7 volt. Very, very common battery. You should be able to find them just about anywhere, folks. You get a spare set of propellers. You get a charger, and you get a little screwdriver. And I'm not sure what the screwdriver is for, because I am not seeing any screws on this thing. I'm sure there are somewhere, <laughs> but they give you a screwdriver just in case. <laughs> so, uh, and also finally, the user manual. It's a very good user manual, very large user manual. Uh, it comes with in, in six different languages, and I think there are English, Spanish, Portuguese, Italian, Chinese, and German. So, if you're one of those, can speak one of those languages, you should be able to read this uh, manual. So, let's go for a flight of this thing and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Good morning, Quiet Copter 101 here, and we're out at one of my flying fields here. Uh, to start up the Eshin uh, E016H, we got to plug in the battery. And plug in the battery into the back of the drone, like so. And make sure it's fully inserted in there. Yep. These are always, can always sometimes be a little bit of a pain, but there we go. Got it in there. And point the front direction in the direction that you want to be the headless motor. I'm going to point it in that direction there, so... And put it on its landing pad or on the ground if you prefer turning on the transmitter up and down on the transmitter connects the transmitter to the drone so we should be good to go let's see try the automatic takeoff by holding down the left button here quick quick press quick press folks i'm sorry and a second press will take to the air <laughs> let's go to higher rate third rate because we've got a little bit of a breeze today let me show you that again, and folks, that confused me. Going back to the beginner's rate, intermediate rate, and bringing it in, and we're gonna put it on the pad here. And also, I'm gonna show you something, something else. Okay, first off, what I wanna do is calibrate the drone. I believe it's lower sticks left, or lower sticks right, and that will calibrate the gyro. But again, the automatic takeoff was a quick press on this button here, let's do that again. And a second quick press takes to the air. So let's bring it up to us. See what it looks like. And go into higher rate. Second rate because of the wind. Second rate's a little twitchy. Now again, this is an outdoor flyer or indoor flyer mainly. You can see it's struggling with the wind. I'm gonna go upwind a bit and then we're gonna try the flips right there. This is what all I'm doing, folks. Press the button and tell it which direction to flip. 
Press the button, tell it which direction to flip. One more time. <laughs> so those are the flips. Now this was, you know, automatically hovers, folks. Uh, what I mean by automatically hovers is you don't have to adjust the throttle. It's maintain its position, its altitude, automatically. But it, for some reason it wants to descend a little bit. I got that breeze coming and going, and it's going up and down with that breeze. So I'm going to take it up higher, right about there, to counter that breeze. Come down a little lower. About head level is what I want. There we go. So again, beginners learn to fly. Don't expect to be doing going real fast with this particular drone. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Coming downwind. But again, learning to hover, learning to go out and back, learning well flips. Flips ain't hard to learn. But going upwind, letting go of the stick, letting it fly back again. Let's try that headless mode. Headless mode is the right button. Okay, now remember I was pointing in that direction when we took off. So right now, left is that way, right is that way, forward is that way, and back is behind me. And uh, keep in mind I'm fighting a wind too at the same time. So, so there's its headless mode. It's working. I can spin it while doing this too, just to show you that the direction of the drone, whatever direction the drone hit, it, it doesn't matter when you're in headless mode. Let's go up in the headless mode direction and we'll hold it down that button and try the one key return. Pressing the button and there's a one key return. The headless mode direction seems to be off over there now. So we'll go over that way. One key return, coming back. But again, one key return is not a true return to home, folks. If this was off to my left and I press one key return, or hold that button down, it'll fly away from me, as you can see there. You know, if it's left or right of me, uh, it will fly away. Okay, I'm still in headless mode. <laughs> as you can see here, I'm giving it yaw, while at the same time I'm trying to fight that wind. Yeah, this one flies real well indoors. I have flown it in my house. I don't want to show you my house on the internet. That's why you don't see me flying indoors. You don't need to see my house, folks. It's, after all, it is the internet. <laughs> okay, now let's try it. Come out of headless mode. Hold that button down. Still in headless mode. Okay. Out of headless mode, you gotta do a quick press. You know, reasonable flight time for this little thing. Being powered by a 350 milliamp hour battery. That's kind of a big battery for this little thing. Now it's got LED lights on the belly. Red on the left and blue on the right. I can see them there. See if we can do flips. Yeah, I can still do flips. Try to fight the wind. <laughs> Let's go way up wind. Expert rate. Even the expert rate is having a little bit of harder time fighting that wind. But again, beginners learn to fly. And all you do get with this, you know. What your intent with this would be to learn how to maintain orientation on the drone. You know, if it's moving to the left, turn right, or moving to the right, turn right to bring it back toward you. Um, also learning stick movement, control the sticks, throttle. And it's having a hard time right now fighting that wind. We're going to land it for a second, folks. It's building up what's called a uh, drift accelerometer drift trying to fight this wind hold on let me put it on the ground and you let it sit for a few seconds and it should come out of that drift or its accelerometer should reset so and that wind's picking up again so starting the motors and then a second motor second press and it takes to the air and the drift is gone but that wind is picking up but because of these prop guards that's why it has a hard time fighting the wind folks Whenever you see a drone with these type of prop guards, that'll tell you right away, you know, 
that's an indoor drone. <laughs> and you take it outdoors, it's not really going to be able to fight the wind very well because these act kind of like a sail in the wind. See, I'm full forward pitch trying to fight this, I don't know, three to four knot wind breeze, a three to four mile per hour breeze. And I need that much pitch to do such. Let's go up higher. No, a lot of beginner pilots always make a mistake and try to go up as, let's see how high this can go. And then they lose orientation and it ends up on their neighbor's roof or in the next block over. So don't do that, folks. These beginner, beginner drones should be flown close. That's the idea. You're just learning the, learning the controls. You know, the stick movement is the main thing that you're trying to learn with these. And the front light is blinking, so that's telling me the battery's getting low. <laughs> Let's see if I can show you that again. There's your indication. That front light starts blinking when the battery gets low. It has a front LED. I find it didn't show that. I'm sorry, folks, but it does. A white LED up front. But, and pretty soon I'm going to be expecting this thing to land land itself here. Well, we'll see how long it takes. Once we get the blinking, we got the blinking. I'm blocking the wind is what I'm doing, folks. That's why I get in front of it. That blocks the wind and then it can come toward me. Oh, look at these guys. Let's go up after them. <laughs> geese are coming, or the geese are here. <laughs> if you, oh man, there are lots of geese here. <laughs> Look at that. Ah, it's a geese. And they're going to land here. I, I got a drone I'm, here. I'm going to land this for a second. Land. Okay, that's it. That's its battery. That's its flight time, folks. I think I need to take off again. It won't take off again. Okay. Why aren't you shutting down? <laughs> okay. Interesting. On low battery, it'll land itself, but then its motors won't shut off. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, so that's the Isheen uh, E016H. Beginner's drone, indoor drone. So I hope you enjoyed this flight. It's Quadcopter 101 with the snow geese. Signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.